Okay. So, last time I showed you how I cut this out of a flat sheet from a paper towel bag, I think it was. Dowdy paper towels. And this is what we were left with, is this long flat ribbon, right? And I was going to show you today what I do with it next. And the reason that what I do with it next is spin it into something more stable is because it's really hard to crochet this if I don't. And see how this is the inside of the bag? And I want the shiny pretty outside of the bag to show. So this side that has kind of muted colors as opposed to this side with a bright beautiful color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside to the top. See? Then wrap it around my spindle. Bring it up to the hook. And then I'm going to hold my thumb on the inside part of it keeping it flat and I'm going to roll that spindle. I can't do it on the tabletop. I can do it on my thigh because it's got pants on it, but I can't do it on the tabletop. So we're just going to turn it, right? Here we go. So let me move the tabletop a little so that you can see how I'm working here. So can you see my thigh from there? I think you can. So I wrap it around the hook and roll it up my thigh like that. And that's kind of hard to see. I apologize for that. I'm working in kind of cramped quarters here, so it's kind of hard to do, but this is the idea. So once it's got twisted up, I'm going to put the tabletop back and I'm just going to do it by hand. It's just a short piece anyway, so that you can see it better. Better? Okay. So once I've got a twist on it, and it came off the spindle, that's all right. We put it back on the spindle and we start wrapping it up like that. Okay. I know I said I was going to do this video for you and then I wasn't able to upload anything for a few days and things kind of get complicated at home. It is what it is. Be what it'll be, right? So we're back to working with the inside edge, right? And spinning it up. Now, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this part. I don't think it'll take a 15 minute video to do it. Then we'll upload that video and then I'll show you what I do with it next. I'm sorry, it takes so long to do each video and you need to listen to me babble on while I do the boring part and apologize for that. I just, I really don't know how to work this camera very well and uh, it's just kind of hard for me is all. So here we go. I'm just going to keep going. I wonder if I can move this, get to there. Yes, I can. Bob the Builder. Yes, I can. All right. This goes a lot faster <laughs> for me when I do it without the tabletop. I just, I can't move everything and keep filming. Life is complicated that way. So we just keep going. I tell my kids, just keep on keeping on. It may take longer, but It'll still get the job done, won't it? Now you can pick it up, I don't know if you can see that very well, and give it a spin. But this plastic is a little thicker than um, the plastic bag, grocery bag plastic that I usually use. And so it doesn't spin very well any other way until you get quite a lot on the spindle. And there isn't quite a lot here. I mean, this is just a short piece. I had a bag that 
I was able to get this short piece out of, but it's long enough to use. And um, the last piece I had, I used uh, the, all right, ladies, guys, sorry about this, but um, the Poise Ladies Pads bag is pink and purple, pretty colors. And uh, I know someone who uses them. And so she saved the bags for me. And I cut them up and made a beautiful pink and purple yarn to use. And I used um, a toilet paper bag for a big roll of, for a, a big bag for a bunch of rolls of toilet paper. And um, the Bounty uh, paper towel bag, this one and spun them up like this and added them to a gray experimental project I was doing for making pillows. And I made my husband a pillow that has a strip of the orange and yellow colors that come out of this bag, or this kind of bag, and the uh, pink and purples that came out of the poise bag. Um, I've got some teal and green that came out of, um, I forget what, I think it was a different brand of toilet paper bag. Um, might've been Angel Soft. And I found, my mom saves me the, uh, the bags that her um, half liter water bottles come in because she keeps a, a tub of water bottles by the door so that when she and my dad go for a walk they can just grab one and go and they don't have to worry about trying to find a thermos and make sure it's clean and fill it up with water and all of those things you just grab a water bottle and go out the door and it encourages them to um walk because it makes their walking process less complicated which is a good thing and um the bags that those water bottles come in are this beautiful deep dark blue and clear um, but because they shrink wrap the bag around the bottles, um, and because of the hard kind of plastic that they're using for that, I can't really use it for this. It does not lend itself well to making itself into porn. We're almost done here, I promise. So I'm not using those, but I found I can use them for stuffing for the inside of the pillows that I'm making. And I'll show you, um, this is the next pillow that I'm making. This one is um, made with the these garbage bags that I got from Dollar General, or Dollar Tree, I mean. They're a dollar and a quarter for a big roll of bags. This is what the lavender one looks like. They come in lavender, pink blue and yellow see and um, I just cut off the end of the bag I know we're, we're digressing here I'm sorry about that but this is what I'm doing cut off the end of the bag and I make continuous strip yarn out of this bag and then use it to make this pillow that I'm making and when I progress some more with this pillow I'll show you how I finish it and how I do it because this is a simple Continuous round, no increases, no nothing, no frills. This is just what it is. And I'll show you how I finish that um, when I do it. You make, if you use a cotton 